Jonathan, as we review the basic post test, we notice that you have a natural pendulum action. So even though you've used a counter swivel for many years because that's what you were taught to do, um, I think it's much better if you go back to using this pendulum action. And actually in your younger days, you notice that you had more of this in your golf swing as well. Here. Okay, so Over club in your hands up to the top. Now swing. Great, let's do that again. So cross your thighs, look up at me. Good, make your pivot. Club in your hands, go up to the top, and swing. You know, and how does that feel? Good. Yeah, I mean, it's free, it's powerful, you don't feel stuck. So do the counter swivel one. I know you don't like to do it. But I've forgotten how that works. So go cross your thighs. Uh -huh. Now, swivel your butt to the target and turn your chest to the left. Oh, there you go. Over here. Yeah, over there. there. I'm sorry, to your right, correct. Yeah. Now go up. Now, how easy is it to swing from there? There's no way I'm going to hit it. Yeah. I'm going to hit back here. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I That's why you end up doing that stuff. That's exactly right. Hi Jonathan. Here's a reminder of a couple of the exercises that I want you to do on a daily basis. First one is just getting that pendulum feel. Get a golf club or your your uh, speed wish or whatever you have. Hang it down from your sternum. Just hold it there lightly with your fingers. From here, you're going to get used to getting the feel how you get that ground force pressure to go back and forth from foot to foot. Feel how those hips swing from side to side in a pendulum action. You'll notice that that gets this club swinging like a pendulum. The better you get at feeling how this body motion swings the club like a pendulum, the better you're going to be in your golf swing of incorporating that into your shots. Next one I want you to do is just basically getting the feeling of stretching your body in this manner. You're going to go ahead and get set up in your golf posture for you a little bit of squat first let that club drop bend over till that club hits the ground you're in your basic address position so here start getting the feel of stretching that swinging motion of your hips from side to side in that pendulum action okay once you have a feel for that from your address position you're going to go ahead and move that swing into the backswing pick up that club hold it from end to end in hand go ahead and from here feel more of that hip swing and turn until your left arm's about parallel to the ground. Now go ahead and grab that grip and stretch it up to the top of the backswing. From here you're going to feel your hip swing forward in that pendulum motion. And again, let that, you're going to let the club kind of slide down through your hands like this. So now you're going to get that sense that you're definitely, you've kept your path coming a little bit from the inside at this point, but you've got the feeling that those hips have really swung forward. Now bring your grip on. Go ahead, post extend. From here, you're going to release it through, grab the other end, and just stretch all the way to your finish. So this is more of a stretching exercise. It's not designed to emulate the swing perfectly, but anything that you've learned from your training swing that you can work into that stretch will help also. Let's do that one more time. I think if you do that stretch on a daily basis, you're going to find the muscles that you need to stretch out to make your pendulum swing feel a lot more efficient is going to happen. Give yourself a couple of weeks, you're going to feel a lot of improvement. In a month, you're probably going to feel like that pendulum motion is a lot more oily than it is right now.